Hello. This episode of Behind the Scenes of Into the Fog is brought to you by Time Blindness. Love ADHD, I thought. You know what? Let's take a shower right before this. And now we're here. So we got our sips. We're missing a light. Yeah. Like a sunset behind me. Today, we're gonna sing our little theme song. Do you know the words yet? Have you heard it enough? Let's try it out. Give you a little intro here. And I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I sure as I could find out soon. Sometimes things don't go the way that I think I want them to. It's okay, I won't give up. Just gotta find a new path. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I sure as I could find out soon. Playing that uh, really helps me contextualize that I don't, I may not know what I'm doing but I will figure it out. Something that we do need to figure out, this. Dun, dun, dun. This is a, if you've never been here before, this is a shot list, so it has a list of all of the shots. I'm gonna keep this on for like 20 minutes. Hold on, let me set a timer on my handy dandy timer here. It's so cute and happy. When this timer goes off, I'm taking this off. For this, we have shots. And then after that, we also need to do that section. Don't look at it yet. Don't look at that one. But after this, we also have shots that have been touched. They're in different stages. But these are still in, they need backgrounds. They're technically not even in BGs. They're in storyboards right now. So I don't know why. But we're about to change that for most of these. So we're going to take one of these. This has been very helpful for all the previous shots is to take one of them, put it through our little pipeline, and then see what's up. Oh, why is it not showing up? Thank you for keeping me on track, Karen. Figure it out, I press Alt, and then I can crop it. Whenever I look at the camera, the light is reflecting off of it, and so it looks like there's a sunset happening behind me. This one is pretty cool, I like this light. I bet it also looks like to you that a sunset is happening behind me. The sun is inside my light desk. Let's give you a Luma key. Chat, we've got chat, chat. Chat, 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 chat. So I wanna take one of these right about here. So she pushes this thing, like a blade of grass. She turns back and then he looks at her with the grass in his mouth. So we could do as the proof of concepting, we can have her just like push down some grass and see what that would take. So we're gonna be going into Blender today. <gasps> oh my God, Steven, did you get a package from outside? Can you? I love you so much. This thing ruled yesterday. I was I was working like after after the stream yesterday. I was working so fast with everything that it was just like oh very intense like brain, and then I had to like keep taking breaks. So we have plenty of areas to choose from for our little scene here. So technically, where this is supposed to happen, she's going into the trees and with the weighted map, I like cleared a path sort of, so there's like less stuff here. So they end up being here. But if she's going through the trees, <laughs> just kidding, the grass blades, the huge grass blades, maybe, maybe like over here, maybe here. Okay, so let's do shift A to add a camera. Uh, let's make sure to put that in the camera scenes so we can keep everything organized. Mm -hmm. What shot are you? 26. Oh, two, six. Cool. What are you working on today? Unboxing! Unboxing! Sorry about the noise. I'll do that over here. I got a mouse. It's supposed to go upright. I was like, I don't think I can work on this like more than I already am because of the toll on my baby weenie body. On my baby weenie body. I lost a part. It is like a detachable commerce thing. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. 
Did you doubt me? I can't believe you doubted me or believed in me. Thank you. My friend and often work partner uh, in crime, Liz, got one of these upright mouse things and it was awesome. So that feels so nice. Oh my gosh. It's got these two buttons like here and then this and the scroll wheel. Oh, that feels so much nicer than this. That's gonna be weird to try to get used to though. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll set that up later. Thank you, love you. Love you. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to like help the strain that you get here. Instead of holding the pen like that, you hold it like this and then that like makes your own personal line of action for your hand not being strained from this and then you put all the pressure so you can work longer and stuff so i think i have the perfect setup now i think everything is good and great and i can work with this and do things with this and not explode my limbs oh let's change the scene camera it's been a minute since i've been in blender. oh <laughs> it's been a minute since i've been in blender 26 there we go so then that changes the stuff down here God, sorry if that was super loud. All right, let's see what we got. All right, now we got wet hair. Air dry. What is that? What is that? What the heck? Hey, this is editing Catherine, and I just wanted to let you know what the hair looks like when it dried. But this is, this is what it looks like when it's not wet rat mode. So, much better. I'm so excited. We should set up the little pad with our um, thingamaboppers, with our macros. Oh my gosh. Nope. <laughs> G for grab. We decided she's coming in here. I want kind of like a dense background. Why don't we change the angle? First of all, do not do that. Second of all, can you look up, please? Not that far up. G, shift Z, so then we're not moving it up and down. Yeah, somewhere around here. So we're just trying to find some place on the set. It's too much on the hill. It's like perfect, except for all the rocks. It's perfect, except for everything about it. Ooh. Um. Yeah, like somewhere around here. I like to see what it looks like. Do I have the fog hidden? Oh yeah, so this is without fog. And then this is with fog. Makes a difference. Who are... Let's see what we're working with. The only thing about um, being on set <laughs> It's procedurally generated, mostly. Everything is in the way, constantly. Okay, let's find a little area for our omniscient perspective here. Wow, that's actually a big rock. It does not look like that. Ooh, let's go up. Okay, now we can fine tune it. Rotate. I meant rotate. Easy method. Let's get Geraldine in here. Uh, Shifty. Here's the thing though, should she not be like kind of towards the ground? Oh, we found her. I see her. Uh, no, 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 no. Come this way. Come on. Yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. Now go down. And no. The fog is uh uh very like desaturating very green with the fog it's crazy what volumetrics will do to you what the heck blender has so many oh my god what are you from blender has so many shortcuts you accidentally hit and then there's no like control z for it i just want a clear shot we're just gonna we're just gonna go top down here I said we're gonna go talk down here. Okay, good. G shift D. I want you to be here. Turn around. 
Every now and then I'll get... Oh, I see her foot is in the ground. Okay, cool. It's just on the slope. Uh, this is perfect. If we render it, it should be easy to, like, mask out. But where is he going to be? There's this rock in the way. Oh, no. Can you hear the dog snoring? Yes. I know you can. Nope. Nope. No, what if we just messed up everything that we did? That would be so cool, wouldn't it? Just kidding. That's very bad. Don't don't do it. Yep. And then I want this. Okay, can we change the lens type from 50? Yeah. Let's do some 20. Let's see what 28 looks like. We've done 28 before. Mm, yeah, I think this might be a 35er. And then we put him here. I'm just going to delete that. X for delete. Let's render this and get out of here. I'm going to take this. Oh my god, you know what? When this little thing is going, that means it's playing. So it's been playing <laughs> nothing over and over again. I didn't have the timeline up, so I didn't see that. Hopefully it's a little less stuttery now. Turn around. We want this folder. Background folder. Render. Render image. And now we wait. <laughs> Me just squinting at the screen going, eh, eh, trying to slightly move the camera. Something I've really learned is to, when you're in the zone for one thing, it's okay to stay in that zone. <laughs> you don't have to go to other things. Because I was really in the zone with like setting up the cameras and doing all the, the shots and putting them, setting them all up so that I could animate later and stuff. And then I was like, oh, I've been doing too much of this. I'm having too much fun with it. Let me try to do something else, another part that needs doing. And it ruined the flow of everything because I didn't have that section of stuff that I was doing done. So it made that feel like it was like an open check mark on a list. Like I haven't checked it off yet. So then my brain has to carry that. And then like also the other part that I was trying to start was hard. We did not do depth of field on this. I want two of these. Uh, depth of field is really easy. I just click it on and then we can do this. I want just a little bit of fuzzy here. Yeah, that'll do. So basically the thing that we needed to talk about in the thumbnail was that we need to start breaking the ice on these shots at all if it's in a different style. Which we kind of did the other day when we were like, oh, let's do the close-up and then have it be textured. And I was like, I don't know what that means anymore. So this is kind of in that same vein. We needed a proof of concept and that shot was not a good one <laughs> to start with. Something that I did in the animation contest last April was I drew over a frame twice, painted over it, and then in the compositing part, I like flickered between those two frames. And I really liked that, and I kind of want that kind of vibe here. I'm just gonna like duplicate her, shifty, and stick her where we want Samson to kind of be, so we can highlight her for the depth of field and see the racking of the focus. If it goes between them, then we can just blend between those. And then this will be number two, and then we can finally go to Photoshop. Will this render? We will do A-OK -okay. version two. And now we can save this and get out of here. Oh, you know what? We also need to put this in progress. All of these. We got 32.7% done. I was like, wow, we got 18 shots done and only 16 to go. Amazing. But like this one. Why are these two like this? Hold on. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Moving right along. It's 20 by 1080 at 300. Whoa. Ooh. Cool. Got this one. And we got this one. It just changes a little bit, but it does change. And then I guess I would like to go with gouache wet. We got gouache less dry. That's a pretty good one. What if, oh, gouache dry for the things that are like in focus? Whatever, I'm just doing this as a test. <laughs> Cool. 
Come on, come on, come on now. Draw this baby. Ba -da -ba -da. And you're like, why don't you just use G? And I'm like, I know, but no. And then because the edges and everything are different, when it's blurry, we could use gouache wet. Oh, I do love gouache go go too. Gouache go go. Uh, there's gouache wet. I don't know. Does that seem more painterly blurred? That'd be cool. Guachi. Guachi. Gouache. 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 Right? I I can never spell gouache right. Wash dry for basing. We can put some gouache wet over it for some texture and then some oil lush. This actually broke a lot of ice. More than I thought it would. Because this looks too solid. But I like the variations in color that it has on here. But this feels blurry. You can kind of see through it. So my idea that we can paint over these and that'll be the thing. That will be the thing for this section. And then we can also put Big Netty. But instead of black, can we just like G it white? <laughs> no. Ah. Yeah. Maybe a little yellow. Who knows? But then it... I feel like white feels more like dreamlike and like you're kind of squinting through some memories and stuff. And um, the dog just farted. So <laughs> she's waking up. She probably has to go out. Uh, this is where we got today. It's not as far as I want to go because I want to just have a finished product. But this was helpful. Actually getting your ideas from like here onto something so you can edit them is pretty cool. Have a wonderful weekend uh, and hopefully see you later. End.